Hello everyone, welcome to Surgery Dada. So today I have got a very 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 interesting case for you. So today I have a patient who is a labor by profession and he has met with an accident. So he had a history of fall from one floor. So for approximately 15 to 12 feet he had a history of fall and post fall he has developed loss of consciousness. So I will ask you, when you were falling, when you were falling, so, how much did you get to the host? Yes, yes. And how much did you get to the host? Yes, yes. After one hour. After one hour, everything was normal? Yes, normal. Okay, okay. So, try to understand, he has a history of loss of consciousness. And then, today if we see this patient, he is talking properly, try to, he is holding his hand, 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 he is holding his hand. So, the motor tool is absolutely fine. Take the pair and take the pair. So and Gevala B and this is also yeah yeah yeah. So if you see there is no residual neurological deficits. His eyes are absolutely normal. So right now GCS is 15 by 15, but he has an history. He has a history of what loss of consciousness. Students, now what should be the initial investigation? You can type in the comment section. It should be NCCT. So NCCT was done for this patient. And I will show you few important things on the CT. So if you focus on this, can you see there is a fracture. So there is a depressed fracture on the what side? On the right, you can say skull. So right side, depressed fracture is there. Again, if you see this, there is a fracture, there is a fracture, there is a fracture. But in this section, you are not seeing anything. Let me take you to the another slide. So if we take you to the another slide, can you see what is this? There is a concave, uh, th there is a biconvex, idly shaped. What is that? This is an EDH. So at the point of depressed fracture, if you see, there is EDH. So can you see this biconvex? So this is a patient with EDH and there is some scalp hematoma also. So what is the diagnosis? It is extradural epidural hematoma. And what is epidural hematoma? It is hematoma between the dura and the skull. Now do you know that this is a surgical emergency? EDH is a surgical emergency, but this patient is absolutely fine right now. So what is the criteria for conservative management? He has already fulfilled. On the CT scan, there is no midline shift point number one. The second is the diameter or you can say the thickness of this hematoma should be less than 1.5 centimeter. He is having it as 1.5 centimeter. So that's just the borderline. Next is the clot volume should be less than 30. However, the CT scan hasn't mentioned the report is the, the radiologist has not mentioned about the volume. So if the patient is fulfilling three criteria, GCS more than eight, then CT thickness of the clot more than one point less than 1.5 and the clot volume less than 30 cc. Remember in posterior fossa EDH, it should be less than 10 to 15 mm also because in that case, the posterior fossa will have the pressure effects. So right now, this patient is not having any neurological deficit. So what should be the plan of action? Will we go for craniectomy? No, the craniectomy is not to be done in this case. We have to go for conservative management because aaj aapki chod ka kaun sa din hai? Okay, so this is three and third or fourth or fifth day according to him. So five days have already passed. The patient's CT was done on the day one. So he is absolutely right, fine right now. He has been advised to undergo a surgery, but he came to our hospital in the Najafgarh branch. So I'm very happy to uh, share this case that yes, yes, we can manage. <coughs> yes, we can manage EDH also with conservative approach and this is what an ideal case so remember again in a nutshell clot volume less than 1.5 clot uh, clot volume less than 30 cc clot thickness less than 1.5 centimeter and gcs more than 8 this is an ideal criteria for conservative management so thank you for watching me and do join surgery to learn more important concepts in surgery